watch and learn literature with Simi Rajit. I am so happy that my uh, students are able to prepare for the exam well through my last video, The Baseland. Keep on watching my videos and support me by subscribing my channel. And let's move on to today's session. I am here today with the novel Sons and Lovers by D.H. Lawrence. Sons and Lovers It's a novel by D.H. Lawrence. Sons and Lovers In this novel, the, we see four sons and a lot of lovers. D.H. Lawrence D.H. Lawrence is known as David Herbert Lawrence. He was born in 1885 in Nottingham, England. Born in 1885. His father, Arthur John Lawrence, and mother, Lydia. His father was a coal miner. And his mother was uh, working in the industry as a lace maker. And one thing is that Lawrence was very weak in his childhood. His health condition was very weak because he was living in a coal village. Then we see uh, this Lawrence, he was very brilliant in his studies. And he was very much interested in literature. The fourth child Lawrence used to get lot of books from his mother. One thing is this mother and father of Lawrence was not having a proper marital relationship. This father was brought up from a poor family and mother Lydia she came from a middle family. After her marriage she wasn't able to adjust well with his father and all these things were seen by Aya Lawrence. Most of the time, Lawrence used to spend his time in the mountains outside. So, let's come to Lawrence. Lawrence, like earlier I told, he was ill in his health as he came from a coal village. But he was a brilliant student and he used to study well. And he was only a boy who got the scholarship in his school. One thing is that he wasn't able to adjust or he wasn't able to get a company towards other boys in his school because he was very ill. He never participated in sports or other um, activities. But instead he was very brilliant in his studies. Later our Lawrence, he went for his higher studies in his high school and from there to his university education and from his higher studies he met uh, his lover Jesse and uh, he fell in love with Jesse and he started to begin his writing by meeting Jesse. It's Jesse who made him or who inspired him in writing things. So first his first uh, writing a volume was The White Peacock. The White Peacock is written as an inspiration given from this Jesse. And then uh, they were in a good relationship and after that Lawrence went for his higher education in the university. From there he was a bright student and one day uh, he got a chance to visit his professor in uh, a village. And the professor's name was Weekly. From there, he was Friar Weekly. Both Lawrence, after seeing Friar, fell in love with this woman. She was already married. Okay. And this, both uh, Lawrence and Friar, uh, their love grew gradually. And what happened is, one day, Lawrence told this Friar to come out from her house. And both of them eloped to Germany. 
from there they began to have their life they started their life and after, uh, this marriage occurred in 1912 and in 1930 as inspired by this friar our lawrence wrote the sons and lovers so sons and lovers was published in 1930 teach lawrence was famous as a poet was famous as a poet as a playwright as a journalist and as an author lawrence was famous as a poet playwright journalist and an author of the 20th century so we'll come to sons and lovers sons and lovers is the first masterpiece work of d h lawrence it's a very beautiful uh, novel dealing with romance and sexuality and a parental affection you can see kind of uh, electra complex or edipal complex in this novel so let's come to the novel sons and lovers let me make you familiarize with the characters there are mr moral mr moral then comes mrs moral this is the husband and the wife this mr moral he has got a name and mrs moral is jetrood and mr moral is walter moral so they are known as moral family moral family and their elder son is william moral william moral then comes Annie, Annie Morel. Then we see Paul Morel. Paul Morel was a protagonist. The protagonist. These are the characters included in the Morel. family then we see mariam mariam and clara we see mariam and clara and mr moral mrs moral william and annie and paul their children mr moral is working as a coal miner this mrs moral is not having any work she is looking after her children this mr moral and mrs moral is a kind of similarity is there in our lawrence uh, towards our lawrence parents mr moral and mrs moral is not having a happy marital relationship because mr moral has come up from a very poor family and mrs moral from a middle family and more of one thing is there mr moral is a drunkard this mrs moral hates drinking and one more thing is there mrs moral had a love affair in her 19s in her early age of 19 and there she had a very good relationship but she was not able to marry that person even now she has a bible in her hand which was gifted by that lover so uh, because of that relation also she is not able to adjust with her husband but her her son saw her world she is very much attracted she is very much uh, surrounded by her uh, sons and she is having only one daughter that is annie so these are the characters in sons and lovers these characters are the major characters in sons and lovers one or two characters they come sometimes and they go that i will be discussing in the later classes so today i'll be winding up with this session 
and you can catch me in the next session of my video. Support me by subscribing my channel. For that, you have to click the bell button seeing in the right side. I need your valuable comments in my comment box and your likes. Please support me and always watch my the full video. Never skip my video. Watch the full episode of my video. Have a nice day.